What is up Kilo crew and welcome to today's video. Today Randy and I are walking the streets of Belfast. It's actually a very brief walk so we don't really get to get very very hungry. But anyways, we are walking towards a place called Newton Cafe where Randy did a breakfast challenge way back in like the end of 2014, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. awesome, awesome. So yeah, we are on our way to go visit Newton Cafe where I am going to be for the first time attempting their massive Goliath Ulster full fry up challenge. I think I'm saying that correctly. Anyways, I believe I have like 45 minutes to eat over 32 different breakfast items, which will be crazy insane. I do love me a good Ulster fry, but uh, let's see if we can eat over five pounds of it, I guess. So yep. it's gonna be a lot of food, but we will of course catch you guys at Newton Cafe when the massive breakfast challenge arrives. Look at this stud. 10 minutes and eight seconds. Can I beat it? I doubt it. What am I doing with my life? Kilo crew. So the massive Goliath challenge has arrived here in front of me at Newton Cafe. I am very intimidated by this. I was not expecting this much bread nor this many chips, but thankfully I am super duper hungry and just had three days off. So I am ready to eat some food. But anyways, I'm going to have 45 minutes to finish everything that you see here. If I'm successful, I do get the meal for free and I do get myself my name and photo up on the wall of fame. Now, Randy did this, like I said, way back in 2014 with an very impressive time of 10 minutes and eight seconds. I am not beating that today. I'm going to enjoy myself and uh, eat some delicious looking Ulster fry up here. But anyways, as usual, there ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's pull our hair back and get this challenge started. <laughs> Thank you. All right, lots of people here can't disappoint. One. <laughs> All right, now that uh, all of the air traffic has gone by, let's eat us some breakfast in one, two, three, breakfast eating time. Woo! Here we go. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hot. Mm, but delicious. Imagine that, chips straight from the fryer being piping hot. You would uh, think it was my first rodeo or something. Look at that overreaction. Good lordy, let's strategy change. Let's make us an egg sandwich. Mmm, toast extra buttered toast, if I may add. They asked if I wanted my toast buttered, and I said, of course. But more to the point, we had four eggs, four bacon, four sausage, four soda bread, four toast, four pancakes, two hash browns, two tomatoes, a pile of beans, a pile of mushrooms, and of course, a big old heapin' helpin' of chips. Big fan, big fan. We're gonna add a little salt because there's not enough sodium involved already. It's good for your um, cholesterol. That's what they say. Do that. Let's add a little ketchup to the sandwich. We're having fun here today. Let's add some ketchup to the tray. All right, now we are ready for business. A perfectly fried egg with a little bit of ketchup on super buttery bread. Couldn't ask for anything better. Look at all of that golden juice of the gods just running everywhere. Yum. I'm liking this egg sandwich strategy so far. I had learned the hard way at the Tony's Godfather breakfast challenge that saving toast for the end makes it a little bit rubbery and chewy, so knocked it out quickly. I am the definition of you have a little egg on your face. I think there was less egg and more ketchup on my face in this instance, but hey, I was uh, going at this rather aggressively. I knew I had to spare myself for those chips. Delightful. Mm. Gonna need a shower after this. Sausage time. And once again, the breakfast sausages in Ireland are absolutely lovely. They're just extra fatty somehow, and they go down really, really easily. So really enjoyed myself knocking out some of this uh, sausage, and of course, back to a little bit more chips along the way. Those uh, chips hold their heat. Oh, mama. All right, let's get in on my favorite, black pudding. I love it so much. I will never understand the hate for black pudding, but I guess it is a love it or hate it sort of thing. Wow. This might be my favorite black pudding of the trip. Well done. This particular black pudding had a really, really divine set of seasonings in there and a lovely bit of extra texture. Exquisite. Hash brown time. If you're feeling that there is a lack of spuds on the platter, if the heap of chips isn't enough, there's also a couple of large hash browns to power through as well. Fried tomatoes or roasted tomatoes. Still don't understand it, but here we go. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. I strongly believe in ketchup, but not roasted or fried or whatever they are tomatoes. Wow. It's just not my thing. I love cold tomatoes with a little salt and pepper, but warm, it's just weird. Time for some bacon. Oh, yeah. Maybe try a bacon butty. Okay. With, is this soda bread? Okay, with soda bread. Now this soda bread was extra lovely. I like that kind of porous texture that it has. It really soaks up all the butter that they cook it with on the grill, and I'm a big fan of butter. Oh, I think so. You're crushing. Haven't hit the chips yet. As I found out later, the chips got super sized over the many years that this challenge has been available. It used to be one pound, and you'll hear later what it really is. All right, final bit of the proteins, and then we're on to uh, carbonation, so I can waddle around Belfast all evening. <laughs> Plenty to see and do around Belfast, so the carbs came quite in handy later in the evening. All right, let's try some of these pancakes. I have jam here. They don't believe in maple syrup here at Newton Cafe, so we're going for jam. When I requested maple syrup, they looked at me like I had three heads or something. <laughs> I approve. Jam works. I'll never complain about small sachets of strawberry jam. These are crazy good pancakes. Look at that look of suspicion there, like, why are these so good? Are these special pancakes, like normal potato something? Mm. And I really liked that about this breakfast. They were honest about where they got each of the individual items from, and if they knew that it was quality, they outsourced it, and that is perfect. Would I be able to do a Diet Coke along with this, please? Yeah. Mm. Bottle or, or Um, bottle would be great. Thank you. It'll help uh, with ship domination. Ah, I already feel myself improving. Back to some pancake here. I remember kind of already being a little bit full at this point, so I knew that Diet Coke was gonna become my best friend before I tackled those chips. I promise there's people here watching. I think they're just in like a repulsed silence. <laughs> mm. Mm. Let's try this. Do you call it a potato farl? Okay, potato bread. Pota what's the difference? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah, I'm posh. Wow. <laughs> I don't think you uh, see the upper class eating in such a manner that lacks any form of elegance. <laughs> so excited for all these carbs. Mm. Eh, go for the soda bread on its own. This is typically where my good friend maple syrup would come into play, but not today. It's like ungarlic garlic bread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what ones are you? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Add a pepper, that's what it is. Unfortunately, that probably wasn't the least clever thing I said all day. Uh, garlic bread without the garlic is indeed just bread. Oh, final bit of bread and then it's on to vegetables, basically. It's all natural, vegan-friendly plant life. Mmm, maybe. Mmm, thank you. That's the hype I'm looking for. Mmm. All right. People ask me why I go brr, I don't know. I don't know either. It helps me feel better. Ugh, like burping. It's probably just me attempting to shake off my feelings of dread when I'm about to face off against an insurmountable pile of potato. You guys weigh the chips or you just say, oh, that looks like a <laughs> Do what? The bag. The bag? Oh, oh okay. it's just a full bag? How much does a full bag weigh? Do I want to know? I did not want to know, actually. It turns out it is half of a five pound bag, so there were two and a half pounds of chips in front of me. Good God, this is a lot of chips. I feel like they keep regenerating. <laughs> is someone like pranking me? Do they keep throwing chips on here while I'm not looking? <laughs> Ooh, there you go. And on that apparently posh note, I will leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will of course catch you all in the next one. Final bits of beans. Mmm. Last fry. Cheers. <laughs> ah, woo! Whoa, hello. Oh, that was good timing. Wow, well, 
That was delicious. That was a mountain of chips, but 33 minutes and 38 seconds was my final time to defeat the Goliath Ulster Fry up here at Newton Cafe. That was so yummy, but um, obviously I did not beat Randall's uh, 2014 time. That was pretty darn fast, but anyways, I do earn my meal for free and a spot up on the wall of fame here. Absolutely delicious. Definitely stop on by. Over a thousand people have tried this challenge and I believe like less than a dozen have won. So yeah, big thank you to Newton Cafe for having me and a big thank you to everyone who was here cheering me on. I really appreciate you guys. So thank you. <laughs> As always, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will of course catch you guys in the next video. Okay, peace out. Bye.